What's up, family? It's your boy Bill on a budget. Bye. With another video. Hope this morning find all of y'all well. Uh, family's well. Everything well about you. Because it's well with me today. I uh, just want to shoot a little video this morning to kind of give y'all an update on what I got going on with this 1969 Chevy C10. Um, got a little work done and got a lot more to do. Just want to kind of give y'all a little bit of the progress that I got going on. I had to take them tires off the front, ladies and gentlemen. I just could not deal with that Carolina squatter look any longer. So I decided to just sit it down on jack stands and now... Them big mud grip got to come off in order for it to look like a truck to me. So, let me just kind of show y'all what I got going. <clears throat> got them in the mail on yesterday. It's a five-inch drop spring. Hopefully, within the day or tomorrow, I'll be able to get them put in on the back. Get this back end cleaned up and shoot some more video about that. I went with a five inch drop because I really want to get this truck down low and I didn't really want to use a lowing block if I didn't have to. So I went with a five inch drop in the back. Most people do a three inch spring, a two inch block, and I just chose to go with a five inch spring. Now, I cut the ones that was in there because I wanted to get the truck down to whereas I could see kind of where I was headed. Uh, and as we see, you know, right now it's resting on the bump stops because I cut those springs. But, I'm going to still put a C-notch in this truck because I want it to be low enough that I'ma need one. That's just where I, I like to ride it. So I'm gonna put a C notch in here. But I gotta put the springs in first and then you know I know where it's gonna sit. And uh with no weight on it and we know weight is gonna make a difference. As y'all see I got my transmission mount. Uh, I just got it sitting up in there where it will be out the way, uh, which is going to give me pretty, a lot of clearance for my exhaust to come through. Um, I'm going to see if I can't get this shot for you. Y'all hold on with me. Now, on them trailing arms, you see that little gap right up between here? Okay. Look like a V. I'm going to eventually cut that out and reinforce it a little bit so I can run my exhaust pipes through there instead of under the cross member. I did it on Armstrong and, uh, it made a big difference. So I want to cut into that cross member. And when I do, uh, I'm going to show y'all what I got. When I cut it out, I used this black pipe, which is about a quarter of an inch thick. And I welded it back in there for reinforcements so that I wouldn't weaken the trailing arm. Uh, on Armstrong, it's a GMC frame, and it didn't have trailing arms on it. It had uh, leaf springs, so it didn't really matter. But with this truck having trailing arms, it that's support up there. And you don't never want to take support out without putting support back in it. So I'm going to take... And I'm going to notch that out up there 
where the transmission loop is at, but I'm gonna take and put the uh, support back in it with that black pipe. So I got that going on. I also changed out one of my doors on this truck and it made it made it a lot different because on my other truck door they had did some welding up in here what happened was when they took these bolts are loose the little plate that got the threads in it it shifted and they they couldn't find the holes to get the bolts back in, and they only had one bolt in it, so they welded it down the front of it, right? But the door was all messed up. But once I took the door off, I realized the problem that they had was they didn't stand that little plate that's on the back side that got the threads in it. They didn't stand it up, because see, that plate moved back and forth for you to be able to adjust the door. But when you take all of the screws out, they fall out of alignment. And, and whoever had this truck, they couldn't find but one hole. And so they welded the door. So I, I, I took that door off, put this door on. It's a lot better door. It just need cleaning up. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working with the doors. But now, what I've done... And I had a subscriber uh, recommended that to me, uh, this to me. I got, I ordered two and a half inch lowing block, not lowing block, <laughs> drop spindles. I was going to go with three. And they made a good point that a three inch drop spindle may not allow me to uh run a 15 inch wheel if i chose to and it made a lot of sense so listen uh to all of the people that subscribe to my channel and even those that just come in and view it when you write comments i do read them and when they make sense i do listen to them i mean so uh don't think that your comments are just written and 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 if, if I don't respond to them, it's because I'm getting so many of them. And it's, and you may comment on a video that might be three or four days old when you see it. But uh, I do read my comments, and it made a lot of sense. So what I done, I ordered drop spindles for like a, a square body. And I'm going to change the ball joints to match the square body spindles and I'm going to keep this front end up under there. I mean, it's an easy task. As you see, this is a factory ball joint. See how I've been riveted in on the top? And that's how they look. This ball joint has been replaced. You see how I got the bolts in it? So it's not a hard job to do, you know. And all of this stuff needs to be looked at because it's, it's real old. So, uh... I'm going to take and, and do that. I got the two and a half inch drop spindles. I think that's what I have on Baby Girl. Uh, two and a half inch drop spindles. And I might have took a half a coil out, you know, to make the fine adjustment to get it where I want it. And I'll be able to do it on this to get it right. So I'm, I'm running the two and a half inch drop spindles on the front and I may even just buy it all depend on where it sit I may even just buy a spring to, to, to sit it where I want to sit it also if y'all notice on the back of baby girl I have me a ring and yes it's five lugs and it's a 12 boat uh, I'm gonna do I'm going to rebuild it. I'm going to put new wheel cylinders, new brake shoes, springs and stuff on it. Um, I just want it to be right. Maybe in the next video, I will at least have it cleaned up 
and uh and paint it and and put in I got the brake drums I even have rotors and stuff and this is gonna allow me to get the truck back down on the ground I got all my backing plates and stuff uh I, I got the uh I know they they not in the good but I can at least match them up but I've been doing a lot of work here trying to get this thing up and running um it's gonna be a lot of things happen in the very near future concerning this truck the main thing I wanted to do was to start getting the suspension right on it you know yeah I got to finish cleaning it all up get it painted uh and I noticed that I got a little bit of rust right in there, which is not much, but I'm gonna do a little work to uh, get it repaired. And uh, hopefully it won't be long before I, can, uh, before I can maybe get some paint on this firewall and cow panel, get that done before I set the motor in. But uh, this door here, it had the same problem. See that? How somebody had welded it, you know? But I got another door that I'ma put on. This here is not as bad as you think. X marks the spot. <clears throat> what they sell is a floor extension. It's only about $60 from LMC truck. But you see that long line? You cut it there and it comes all the way over and it, and it has the inner rocker made on it it bolts to the rear support and it bolts to the front cab support up front and it keeps everything stable and it goes all the way up to where you see that crack at uh, all the way up to there I need that on both sides that's going to make a world of difference. And then I'm going to need outer rockers. I'm going to put them on. And then I need to do some uh, cab corner repair on this side. As well as on this side. And it'll be a very good uh, fix when I get it done. So, um, I got a lot done. Got a lot to do. Got to pull all of this mess out. Got to take the stern column out. It's no good. Uh, I need to get in to my window regulators and, and get them all hauled up. Remove this clutch pedal out the way. I probably just cut it up high, get it out the way, and, uh, you know, clean this cab out real good and get it ready for me to go to work on it. So, uh... Y'all see, I got right much done, and uh, I'm stayed ahead a long way. Hey, I like to thank uh, Buchanan's Auto Sales and Recycling for helping me recycle this re end and stuff uh, for my truck. Front end pieces, uh, it is it, it has an opportunity. 
to live again. And that's what our John do down at his shop. He like to give old school stuff another opportunity to live again. Uh, he has been uh, one of my biggest supporters to my channel. And he has always been Johnny on the spot for parts and stuff that I need for all of the old vehicles that I have. So I like to give a shout out to him. Uh, if y'all have anything that y'all need recycling, any old cars and stuff that you need to get out your yard, um, I'm gonna leave his number down in the description. Uh, you, you, you can give him a call. He'd be more than happy to service you as far as picking up your stuff. Uh, that's just what he do. So, uh, John, I appreciate you, man. Um, you've really been a good friend to me, man. And, and I thank you for your support of my channel. I could not have done none of this stuff had you not been on my side. Everybody that's trying to do this stuff need people in their life, man, that they can depend on. And, and the list goes on. Uh, I'm going today and shoot a video that I want y'all guys to really watch. Uh, he's a subscriber friend of mine. Uh, me and him been corresponding. We've been going back and forth, man, bickling like a couple of hens with each other with a bunch of nonsense that we enjoy. Uh, I'm going down to his place today, me and our John and, uh, it's JG Innovations, uh, Jeremy. Uh, we headed your way this morning. I want to do a little, a little feature on him, man. You never know who you come in contact with. You never know the the the, the people behind the face or the voice that you watch on YouTube. He got a real interesting channel, and 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 I want to introduce him personally to the Built on the Budget family. And when y'all watch this video that I'm going to do on him today, I want y'all, man, to, to hit his channel. Hit it hard, man. Uh, give him a subscription. Uh, throw a bunch of likes and stuff, man. And support this guy, man. He has a real interesting story, man. You never know when you in the midst of royalty. So, look, uh, I'm going to do that video today. And uh, it will probably be up on tomorrow. And I'm going to say, hey, this is your bar built on the budget to the next video, which will be tomorrow. Peace.